So I wanted to touch on the eye and very important vitamins for the eye. And not just vitamins, but a mineral and a phytonutrient. The first thing you need to understand is that um, a lot of these problems with the eye, whether it's uh, macular degeneration or retinopathies or cataracts or glaucoma, um, they usually stem or get triggered from oxidation, high levels of oxidation, uh, usually from too much blood sugar, okay? That's why in diabetics you see so many problems with the eye or high levels of insulin. Um, other things in the diet can affect the eye, but the big thing is the sugar, okay? So I've done other videos on that. And then the high sugar also will deplete you of certain nutrients as well. But these nutrients I wanna mention act as antioxidants. So if you have enough of these nutrients in your body, it will reduce the complications from diabetes or high sugar or whatever you have. They basically have protective properties, okay? So the most important is vitamin A. Without vitamin A, you're gonna have a lot of eye problems. Vitamin A helps you see in the dark and it can reduce night blindness and prevent it, basically, um, in people that can't see when they're driving at night. Without vitamin A, your tear ducts and your mucous membranes around the eye dry right up, so you get dry eye. Uh, there's so many people like carrying around this little um, solution to help lubricate the eye when they need vitamin A. And also make note that you might need more bile salts if there's a gallbladder problem or a liver problem because you need that to help you absorb vitamin A. Without vitamin A, you tend to get cataracts and macular degeneration. The macula is the back part of the eye. All right, then we get vitamin B1, which gets depleted when you're a diabetic, when you eat high carbohydrate diets, when you eat refined foods, and also if you're taking metformin, by the way, that will deplete B1. Without B1, your risk of getting cataracts go way up, and also your risk for getting uh, retinopathy, problems with the retina, because B1 is involved in keeping the outer coating of your nerves intact, that myelin sheath. So if you have any type of peripheral neuropathy problems because you're a diabetic, you wanna take B1, but you wanna take it in a fat-soluble form, um, as in benfotamine, okay? Benfotamine is also uh, good to penetrate the fat layers of the eye and even the brain. So it's really good for something like this if you catch it in time. All right, B3 is good for glaucoma. And all the B vitamins that I'm gonna talk about um, you can take nutritional yeast to get your B vitamins. It's a good source. But glaucoma is um, high pressure in the eye. Okay, then we have zinc. Zinc is a very powerful antioxidant. It's a trace mineral. Uh, over 2 billion people on this planet are deficient in zinc. It's a very common deficiency also in, in, um, in agriculture as well. So it's one of the most common. But zinc allows vitamin A to work. Okay, to do its job. Without zinc, vitamin A has a hard time creating its functions. All right, another point is that your eye is loaded with zinc, okay, because zinc acts as a cofactor or a helper in all these different enzymes, over a thousand different enzymes uh, dealing with proteins. Without zinc, you get an increased risk of getting a cataract and macular degeneration. Other than that, you're perfectly fine. Okay. Then we get carotenoids, which is not a vitamin, it's a phytonutrient. It's an additional thing in plants and other foods that give you health benefits, like lutein, zeanthin. Um, you may have heard about eating tomatoes, for example, it's high in uh, lutein, or kale, or any type of leafy greens, because these carotenoids actually help prevent macular degeneration and a lot of other things. Okay, vitamin D actually can help reduce risk for cataracts. It's a fat-soluble vitamin. This is a fat-soluble vitamin. Vitamin E is also involved, but I didn't want to mention that because there's not a tremendous amount of research on the eye with vitamin E, uh, maybe a little bit here and there, but vitamin E is a very powerful antioxidant. Also, so is vitamin C from food. Um, very important. Um, but again, I didn't want to put that because I didn't find a lot of research on that. All right, vitamin B2 deficiencies can increase your risk of cataracts and macular degeneration as well. And vitamin B2 is a antioxidant for the nervous system too. So uh, I did another video on this related to Parkinson's. Very interesting. All right, guys, there's a summary. Make sure you're getting these nutrients from the food that you're eating. 
Hey guys, real quick, I have a... So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.